The Royal Ordnance L11A5 is a 120mm L-55 rifled tank gun design. It was the first of NATO's 120mm main battle tank guns which became the standard caliber for Western tanks in the later period of the Cold War. By 2005, total of 3,012 L11 guns were produced. List price was US$227,000, 1990. The L11 was developed by Britain's Royal Ordnance Factories to equip the Chieftain tank as the successor to the 105mm L7 gun used in the Centurion tank. It was also used on the Challenger 1, which replaced the Chieftain in British and Jordanian service. The weapon has been superseded by the L30 series 120mm rifled tank gun. History the Royal Armament Research and Development Establishment at Fort Halstead designed a new 120mm rifled tank gun in 1957. The new gun was deemed to be necessary because the British Army specified engagement ranges greater than those of other armies, for example 2000 M, 2200 YD, as specified by the US Army, despite studies at the time that suggested engagement ranges were below those of the US Army requirements in the great majority of cases. The L11 was specifically designed to fit into the turret mountings of the Chieftain tank, FV4201. After firing trials in 1961, the L11 was accepted for service on the Chieftain in 1965, and entered service with the British Army in 1966. During Operation Granbia L11 on a British Army Challenger 1 scored the longest tank-to-tank -tank kill in military history, when it destroyed an Iraqi T-55 at a range of 4.7 km with the L-23 fin round. Since its introduction, the L11 has evolved into eight production versions. In June 1976, development of new ammunition for the L11A5 was begun. Production Models the Royal Ordnance Basic L11 design was developed into a series of improved production models, the L11A5 was the major production version. L11A1 The initial production variant, 130 were produced. L11A2 RO Defense incorporated numerous minor changes, including a modified vent tube, an obturator sleeve protector, and a 15-hole vent tube magazine. Stronger material was used in fabricating the breech ring. L11A3 This incorporated minor changes to the breech ring. L11A4 Evaluation test prototype for an automatic loading system. L11A5 This was the main production model. It introduced the integral muzzle reference system and a smaller and lighter fume extractor which required the addition of 7.7 kg of weight at the breech for balance. L11A6 This was a conversion of the A3 to accommodate the muzzle reference system and fume extractor of the A5. L11A7 A semi-automatic plunger was proposed for the vent tube loader, but did not enter production. L30, EXP32M1, the latest variant of the L11 design, developed under the Challenger Armament Program. Design The breech mechanism is a downward sliding semi-automatic breech block. The gun was equipped with a hydropneumatic recoil system using two buffers. The gun recoils 37 cm, 15 in, in most applications. This breech block design was based on the breech block on the Krupp slash Skoda SFH 1843 Model 18 that the British studied extensively after the war and perfected for use in the 120mm gun. Unlike most tank weapons which fire a single fixed round, the projectile and propellant are loaded separately. The propellant is in the form of a combustible bag charge, or later, a combustible charge case for armor-piercing rounds. This required the obturation to be provided by the breech rather than the cartridge case, as is the case in fixed rounds. When first introduced, APDS, armor-piercing discarding sabo, rounds were fired using a cylindrical charge. High explosive squash head, hash, smoke and other rounds used a hemi-cylindrical, i.e. a cylinder sliced in two lengthways, charge, the L3. Two HE charges could therefore be stowed in the same space as one AP charge. In the Chieftain and Challenger tanks, the charges were stored in 36 recesses surrounded by water jackets, 
so that a hit which penetrated the fighting compartment would rupture the jacket and drench the propellant, preventing a catastrophic ammunition fire, known colloquially as a brew-up. The barrel of the L11A5 is fitted with a bore evacuator approximately two-thirds of the way to the muzzle and a thermal sleeve. When first introduced, a 12.7 mm .50 in, caliber ranging gun was fitted over the barrel of the L11. The projectiles for this ballistically matched those for the main armament out to 2600 m, 2800 yd, at which point the tracer element burned out. This effectively limited the maximum range for the main gun to this distance. In the late 1970s, laser range finders replaced the ranging MG in British service, allowing engagements at longer ranges. However despite this, testing at the US Army Aberdeen Proving Ground concluded that engaging targets beyond 3 km miles, is not practical due to round deviation. This is especially true against targets that are moving. In the Korean War British Army 20 PDR armed Centurions were successfully shooting into bunker observation slits at ranges of 4,000 yards. Specification Caliber, 120mm, 4.7 in Barrel length 6.604m, 21 feet 8.0 in, 55 calibers Length overall 6.858m, 22 feet 6.0 in Weight, 1,778 kilograms, 3,920 pounds. Recoil distance, 37 centimeters, 1 foot 3 in. Maximum range slash velocity, APDS 3,000 meters, 3,300 YD, 4,495 feet slash S, 1,370 M slash S. Maximum range slash velocity. Hesh 8000 meters, 8700 YD, 2198 feet s, 670 m s. Maximum rate of fire, 10 rounds slash min. Sustained rate of fire, 6 rounds slash min. Elevation, plus 20 slash 10 on Chieftain MK2. Available ammunition. L31 high explosive squash head, Hesh. L15 Armor Piercing Discarding Sabo Tracer, APDST, Production Discontinued. L20 Discarding Sabo Training, DST. L23 Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabo, APFSTS. L26 Jericho Depleted Uranium Armor Piercing Fin Stabilized Discarding Sabo, APFSTS. L34 Smoke. L32 Squash Head Practice, SHP. L35A1 canister shot. Operators. Current operators. Iran. Jordan. Oman. Former operators. Iraq. Israel. Kuwait. United Kingdom. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.